seems like everybody these days is doing what I spent in a week video. Well, everybody under the age of 30, that is. But what does real life look like for a family of three? Definitely not under the age of 30. I can promise you there's going to be some running around like chickens with our heads cut off and I can almost guarantee there's going to be some impulse food purchases and probably a few last minute surprises. So come along with Mauricio, Molina and I while we take you on a real life, very typical week of our lives and show you exactly where we spend our money. And I promise you, I'm going to show you every single cent. This is going to be so fun or maybe a little terrifying. And if you want a sneak peek at how this week ends, check this out. Holy cow, y'all. This week was insane. And just so you know, my weeks aren't normally like this. Normally there, you know, we might have three or four things, maybe five that we spend on. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia, Mauricio, my husband, and I are well past 30, and I mean well past 30. I'm well into my 40s, and we live in the suburbs of Washington, D.C., the fifth most expensive place to live in the United States, and the third richest city in the United States. And the town that we actually live in, Vienna, Virginia, is known for being one of the more expensive suburbs of DC. So needless to say, everything is crazy expensive here. Now I'm not gonna cover our monthly expenses. I actually do whole videos on that. And those are paid in the first week of the month. And this is not the first week of the month. So this is going to be just what crossed our bank account during this week that I am filming. So our week started out on a Saturday of a three-day weekend. Note to self, we spend way more money on the weekend. And why I chose to film this on a three-day weekend is beyond me. But this is real life, so I'm just going to roll with it. Saturday morning started out with Mauricio taking Melina to the ice skating rink for practice. She takes lessons for a half an hour a week, but the class includes three practice times at the rink for free. And of course, Mauricio got her and probably himself a snack after practice for a total of $8.15. And that was in our spending plan. Oh, and since we talk spending plans all the time here on this channel, I thought I'd go ahead and as we go along, I'll just tell you what was in the spending plan and what wasn't in the spending plan. And at the very end, I'll tally it up so you can see you know, where the plan went awry or didn't go awry. So after skating, we hung out around the house because it was Saturday and we were chilling. It was sleeting and gross out. So we kind of wanted to stay close to home. So Mauricio studied. I worked on YouTube videos and Melina chilled in her room. At one point, Melina was feeling a little creative and decided to give me heart tattoos with her tattoo pens that she got from her cousins for Christmas which coincidentally took three days to wash off. Little did I know that Mauricio was not actually studying. He was actually shopping on Amazon. He had purchased himself a laptop sleeve so he could take his laptop in his backpack to school, as well as a protective plastic cover and an AC adapter that he had gotten for me. So all three of those things together were $69.89 and none of that was in our spending plan. He also on that day purchased a textbook for one of his architecture classes, but he did opt for the more economical PDF version for $14.89 and that was also not in the spending plan. And then came dinner. Normally on the weekend, Mauricio and I are crazy busy. So if my dad doesn't want to cook, oh, if you're new here, you probably don't know that we live with my parents. And that's like a super long story, which I'm not gonna bore you with now. So anyway, my dad does most of the cooking for right now. And so if he doesn't cook or doesn't wanna cook, Mauricio and I are in charge of cooking. And if we're in the middle of something, we'll get takeout or delivery. And because this particular Saturday was such a night 
We got delivery from DoorJosh. We got Shake Shack, which was $89.52, which was kind of in the spending plan. We do plan for those kind of things, sort of. So the total for Saturday was $182.45. Ooh, we're not off to a good start. Then on Sunday, we were bad Christians and did not go to church in the morning. You ever have those days you just want to stay in your PJs? Well, this for sure was one of those days, and we are so going to hell, but at least we'll be there together as a family. And Melina and Mauricio had leftover pizza for brunch and that was free, yay. We do eat out of the fridge quite a bit. And in the afternoon, Mauricio finally got dressed and headed over to Home Depot to get some supplies to hang the new shelves for my studio. And those supplies were $16.94 and that was not in the budget. I'm not gonna lie. I think Mauricio has taken this as kind of a challenge to see how much he can spend in a week. While he was gone, he texted me a screenshot of $6.99 for a bill for a monthly charge for some sort of phone service that he had signed up for through Skype that allowed him to call his mom and his dad. And since neither one of them have internet on their phones, he wasn't getting to talk to them very much and he wanted to talk to them. And honestly, it really wasn't a big deal. And since I already had $20 for him to talk to his family in the spending plan, it was technically already in the spending plan, just in a different, albeit more expensive form. But since I was already messing with him about the spending, because seriously, it's usually me that does all the spending in this house 99% of the time, I texted him this message. And then the phone rang. It may have taken me a minute to talk him off the ceiling. That's okay. He finally figured out I was playing with him. So he finally got back from Home Depot and we could get the disaster of bow concept shelving off my furniture and onto the walls. Now, these shelves were obviously not free, but I did pay for them back in like October or November. And then we had to decide what the perfect height was. So I broke out the camera and we got to work. Well, I got to being bossy and Mauricio got to doing the heavy lifting or being my, as we say in the Valencia household. And no comments on my hair or lack of makeup. A little more, a little more. No, that's the sofa right there. That's the sofa. This is a chair, not a sofa. What a chair? It's not. I'm looking at the video. I, There's like a good six. I can see it here. I feel compelled to show you what's going on here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is like CrossFit workout here. Okay, help me out. No, I really want to record this. No. The wall, I'm going in the wall. What's the, wrong? Mark it up. <laughs> I'm gonna drop it. I bet you didn't know Mauricio had a tattoo. Okay, you're not gonna have a shelf soon if you don't hurry up. A little bit mortified that you all just saw me with wet hair. I don't go out in public like that and I cannot for the life of me understand why I would have put something like that on YouTube because it's not a pretty look. So I'm off to Sally's. It's time to tone this hair. It's getting a little brassy, not too bad, but I try and keep it under control and tone it every four to six weeks if I can. And so I get all of my supplies from Sally's and I'm going to get a pair of nails. And I know everybody who knows me in real life actually thinks that I get like regular manicures, but I use the, I'm not even kidding, like the stick on variety. So at Sally's, I got some demi-permanent developer for a top coat shine thing I'm gonna try out. Hair color while we were there was on sale two for one, so I went ahead and bought two, and then I bought a pack of press-on nails for a grand total of $29.53, of which $25 was in the spending plan and $4.53 was not. Now, shortly after I got home, I found out my parents were going to a dinner party. And I'm gonna be honest here, somewhere in the recesses of my brain, I knew they weren't gonna be around for dinner. I just chose to not process that fact until it was really too late. And I had already promised Melina that we would watch Descendants 3 for like the 75th time because, you know, 
I'm a good mom like that. So we decided to order delivery. And of course, because I am on a very intense diet, I was being super picky about where we ordered from. So Mauricio, Melina, and I ordered DoorDash PF Chang's and got I got chicken lettuce wraps with no rice sticks, which are delicious and pretty healthy actually, but Dang, I always forget that Chinese food makes me retain water and I gain like five pounds of water weight overnight. It's insane. And then dinner was over. Check out these awesome fortune cookies. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. So that dinner for the three of us was $64.99, which was again, technically in the spending plan. But at this point in the month, well, with that amount of money, hmm, and the amount that we've already spent, we're coming way close to being way over our meals out allotment. We are off to a stellar start with this week. Holy cow. So the total for Sunday was 118.45. And this is just getting worse and worse and worse by the second, isn't it? And finally, just when I think the weekend is over, Dang, it's a three day weekend. And what does that mean? Mauricio is going shopping again. He needs school supplies. But what I think is he just wanted to leave the house to do something. So I was supposed to film a video. I was purchasing stuff. I forgot. I just purchased something staples. Here's the proof. Hmm. $28.05 later, he has school supplies and that was not in the spending plan so this weekend is just not going according to plan i just dropped melina off at a little friend's house and now i am sitting in the michael's parking lot i'm gonna run in and buy some 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper to use as agenda like separators for my calendar so i've been putting this off and oddly enough it shows up on the weekend that i have to document it so what I just did was not at all unheard of. I actually went into Michael's and I saw that all their Christmas stuff was totally on sale at 80% off and I loaded up my basket and then decided totally against it and I was like, I'm not here for Christmas stuff. So I put that all back as I said, okay, I'm going to focus and I'm going to go ahead and get what I came for, which is the paper. And I was looking for double-sided cardstock because the goal obviously being to buy less paper. And I started like putting it all together and I loved it. It was beautiful and it was so pretty, but to be perfectly honest, it was like 250 a sheet. And maybe cardstock is cheaper in your area. I do live in a ridiculously expensive part of the country. I ended up having 24 sheets of cardstock and, you know, some were more expensive than others. And, and it was going to cost like close to 50 bucks for paper. And I'm like, I got 11 by 17 cardstock at home that's white that's free. I can just go ahead and accomplish what I need to with that. So I set the basket down and walked out and I'm pretty sure the Michaels employees think I was shoplifting. I'm going back home. I've spent nothing today. I cannot say the same for my husband who literally spends nothing ever, 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 ever. And I tell him we're going to do what I spend in a week video. And he has been shopping like crazy person. So while Melina was playing at her friend's house, I was restraining myself at Michael's. Mauricio was off getting his architectural work scanned in at the fancy schmancy printers. He actually needed digital versions of all his hand drawings for use in his electronic portfolio, which he's going to use for scholarships and, and grants and, and admissions to grad school or applications, I should say. And those scans were a total of $30.05 in unplanned expenses. Hopefully that will be a good return on investment, which I assume it will be. And then I got a text from Mauricio telling me that he sent my brother $41.46 for Super Bowl squares as a fundraiser 
for one of my nephew's baseball teams. Then I guess while he was out, he also decided to get the car washed because there was salt all over the car. And that was from the sleep from the other day. And that was $32. I remember when I first moved out to Los Angeles and I used to pay like $12 or $16 for like the deluxe wash at the car wash down the street because there was no place in my apartment building to actually wash a car. And I thought $16 was a huge amount of money to pay to wash a car, but that was probably because I grew up washing my own car. And next, grandma's gonna tell all of you youngsters about how when she was a kid, she used to have to walk to school uphill in the snow both ways. Holy crap, y'all. I am seriously turning into my grandma talking about the good old days when things are cheap and I could get my hair cut and highlighted for like $85. <laughs> and that officially ends Monday for a grand total of $131.56. Yeah. I'm so gonna end up on Graham's show. And I was totally ready to have an awesome, fully planned, like good to go on schedule, like exact as we planned spending day and holy cow guys. It was 6 a.m. and I was getting ready to go to work. I was getting Melly up for her tutor because we needed to leave at seven, but there was like some sort of like catastrophic meltdown in her room. And I would show you what that looks like, but come on, it was like six o'clock in the morning and I hadn't had enough coffee. I was not thinking this was gonna result in some sort of spending, so I wasn't recording. And although I had been up for like four hours already, no, not four hours, two hours, I just, I wasn't thinking like totally straight. And I know you're thinking to yourself, come on, Wendy, you're cleaning up your daughter's room. How does this really relate? You need to wait for it, it's coming. So I'm going around her room and I'm picking up all her stuff and I'm trying to drag her little behind out of bed and she looks so cute all wrapped up in her blanket. And I find a towel from the shower the night before on her floor and I walk into the bathroom and I am met with a very large mixing bowl and a very large picker, pitcher filled to the very brim with a bright pink neon gelatinous mixture with this like super strong smell. It was kind of coconutty with like hints of lilac tinged with some sort of like antiseptic soapy smell and it did not smell good. I honestly wish I had a video of it because there were like these giant kitchen spoons sticking upright in the center. And mind you, this was six o'clock in the morning. So they had been sticking upright all night and not fallen over. That is how thick this goop was. So I walked into Melina's room and I asked her what she had made. And she said she had made a magic fairy potion. Of course, she's eight. Why wouldn't you make a magic fairy potion? I so wish I had a video of this next part. So I asked her exactly what was in the fairy potion. And she told me, oh, it was just soap and conditioner and some other stuff she found in the cabinet. At that point, I started to have heart failure because the cabinet in her bathroom is where I keep the surplus of all the bathroom supplies and I keep it really well stocked for a while because I generally only buy those things in bulk like twice a year. So I walked back to the bathroom and I opened the cabinet door and it was full of completely empty bottles. Two bottles of 30 ounces of shampoo, one 40 ounce bottle of mouthwash, two 30 ounce bottles of conditioner, four 20 ounce bottles of body wash, and two bottles of lotion and three tubes of toothpaste. All gone, 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 gone. But FYI, none of these things were pink. So I went back and asked her where she got the pink and she said, well, you know what that is, mommy. It's that stuff that you put on your cheeks. You know, I, I got that and I crushed it up and I mixed it in the, the potion. <sighs> Seriously, this week? Are you kidding me? You're just mocking me now, aren't you? So before 10 a.m., I had spent $110.48 on Amazon to restock those things, which now reside in my bathroom. And also included with that $110 was a soap and body wash dispenser for the wall of her shower. So if she wants to make any more potions, she'll have to do it one little squirt at a time. Cause yeah, I'm that mom. 
I'm guessing you can figure out that replacing all that stuff was completely unplanned because I had actually just bought it like a month and a half or two months before. And if you're thinking I could have actually waited and just bought small quantities, I probably could have, but I did the math on it about two years ago. And as it turns out, one bottle in this area is almost equivalent to 30 ounces and it's like 12 ounces for the price of 30. So why would I, I just buy it all at one time in bulk. The rest of the day I was in the office and there was zero time for anything other than work till it was time to leave. And I did have a dinner date scheduled with my friend. So I am heading out of the office right now and I am going to pick up a girlfriend and I have invited her out to dinner because she is brilliant and I need to use her engineering brain for some design ideas. I'm having, I'm like stuck in a place with some ideas for things down the road and I need her assistance. And so I'm really hoping she'll be able to like give me some like creative suggestions or some something. Maybe not, or maybe we'll just catch up and have a good time and chat. <laughs> um, but I have invited her out to this lovely restaurant in the town near me called Clarity. And I just love this place. It is delicious. The food is so good. So I am super looking forward to going tonight. So I had the nicest dinner. It was like, no joke, three hours long. I blew my diet. There was a cheese platter. I had fish over lentils, two things I absolutely never picked in a restaurant but we're so good and then we just split a dessert of a flourless chocolate cake with homemade ice cream while i said i had invited her and i was gonna buy her whole meal she refused to let me and so my half was 69.77 and that meal was actually fully planned because we made the dinner date almost like a month ago wednesday was a typical wednesday for us nothing else the norm. Mauricio grabbed lunch in the cafeteria in his office for $7.16. He generally only buys lunch out once a week, so that is totally planned. Then later in the afternoon, Mauricio and I walked to Starbucks and got some coffee. And this is something we do mostly when one of us just needs to get out of the office and walk around. And today it was me, but it was because I was starving. And so I got their brand new like coconut milk latte and holy cow, it was delicious. And Mauricio got his standard vanilla latte and then I got some moon cheese and I ate like five of them and then I gave them to Mauricio and I told them, please take them away from me or I'm gonna eat the whole bag because I could do that. And so that was a total of $10.49. And all of that was planned in the spending plan. So Wednesday is the day that Mauricio has his class after work and I take Melina to her tutor in the morning and then leave early and take her to ice skating in the afternoon. My dad usually picks Melly up at school and brings her home and gives her a snack I leave her skate clothes out on the bed and she gets dressed by herself and then I come flying in like a bat out of hell and I grab her and we go screeching off to skating and then usually when skating's over, we grab a snack at the snack bar. This day she ate a ton of food for snack right after school. So all she wanted from the snack bar was candy and I was having none of that. Mm -mm, I was still mad from the potion. So, so we spent nothing. Mauricio was at school and he grabbed McDonald's on the way to class. So that is always in the spending plan and totally normal for him. He spent $8.26 at Mickey D's and then another $1.50 at the vending machine at school both of which were in the spending plan. So on Wednesday, we spent a total of 27.41. And that number disturbs me now because although we don't do that every single day, I did just see a post on Instagram saying that if you wanna waste $10,000 in one year, spend $27.40 in a day. And I spent 27.41. This is a sign, I get it. And honestly, before that post, I would have said we did well today. Damn you, Instagram. This week is starting to make me feel a little nauseated. So we're getting towards the end of the week and I'm starting to wish I had not agreed to do this video. <laughs> Today, Mauricio had to pay $15 for parking, 
So for the last year, the arm at the parking garage where he parks has been broken, so it, he hasn't been paying anything, but they've been working on it lately, and sometimes it's up, and sometimes it's down, and sometimes he has to pay, and sometimes he doesn't. So as a result of Melina's potion, I had to move all of her bathing supplies, as I mentioned, out of her bathroom and into mine. And if you know anything at all about me, I am super organized. So I stopped by the Dollar Tree to pick up two cheap plastic bins that I could label as Molina shower supplies and store with my stuff. So I am on the way home from work and I just stopped by Dollar Tree because I needed to pick up some bins. I wanted just a cheap little option and so I only got two but while I was in there I did get some poster board and some stickers and some stuff for a total of $21.50 because not for nothing, when you have a kid in elementary school, you'll understand the eight o'clock. Oh, oh, mommy, I forgot. I have a presentation on the Padawan Indians tomorrow and I have to do it. And I don't wanna be running out to Michael's at like nine o'clock at night, true story. So if I have poster board and letter stickers and like a couple of like poster board cutouts at home and construction paper and stuff, at home hidden that she doesn't use as like craft supplies, then I'm good to go at the last minute. And I was out of stock of all of that because the last, last minute project. So I needed to restock. So I am fully restocked and we're ready for the last half of the school year now. Then Mauricio charged $4 and 23 cents at a gas station. So on Thursday, we spent a grand total of $40 and 43 cents. So it's finally Friday and I feel like spending this week has been over the top, even for us. I actually thought we were in the free and clear and there would be zero spending. And then I realized that no, I still had to pay Melina's tutors for the week. So that was 140 bucks to Miss W. And because Melina missed Spanish last week, she had Spanish twice this week. So that was another $140 to the Spanish tutor but that was all in the spending plan. And as I was logging my expenses for the morning, I saw the check that I had dropped in the mail the day before for the dentist bill that Melina had a while ago. I posted about it on Instagram and I, I knew it was gonna be a bad bill because there were disintegrating teeth. She had had a problem with this tooth. They ended up pulling it. It was a whole thing. And it was a lot of money. $298 a lot. And it cleared in less than 24 hours. So here we are. And then what a fantastic way to end the week. Mauricio called and said he was going out to happy hour with the guys from work. And I'm not even going to lie when I tell you that I seriously considered not even telling you how much he spent because my dear husband has a habit of picking up the bill when he goes for happy hour with the guys which is all well and good, but when it's the end of the month and we're scraping the bottle of the barrel and I'm like, dude, we're filming a what I spent in a week video and you choose to do this. I'm like, seriously. But by the grace of God, there was some guy there. Mauricio ended up telling me, he's like running his mouth and in my head, all I can hear, just tell me how much it was. And that's all I heard. So I have no idea what I do know is the guy ended up picking up the entire bill for the whole entire group. Mauricio didn't spend a cent. So that Friday, we spent a grand total of $565.72. So for this whole week, that brings us to a grand total of $1,246.27 spent and i gotta say that these overages are slightly more than our normal overages for a month not a week and so of that 12 46 27 8 61 78 was actually planned and 384 49 was unplanned but i do want to note that of that 861 78 
planned $289.99 was for eating out and our whole month's allotment for eating out was only $300. And we did eat out at other times this month. So while these numbers are sort of planned, they weren't really. Blah. So I know you're thinking to yourself, where is she gonna get the money for the unplanned expenses? Where is it gonna all come from? Well, I guess you're gonna have to watch the budget recap right here. Well, after 11.15 on Monday, that is. I'll see you in the next one.